Shy with Undergarment has requested that we do a meat dish with a quick and simple sauce. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to focus on sausage, because it's a nice cheap meat. Mm. And then not so much a sauce, but an entire accompaniment, which is all done really quickly in one pan. Nice one. Okay, so some really nice meaty pork sausages. Mm. And then kind of a, a casserole, cassoulet, mm. stew, whatever you want to call it. Sotty sauce. Out of some more chorizo, some chickpeas and tomato base. Chickpeas, aren't they quite boring? Chickpeas, a lot of people just blitz them up into like a hummus. Yes. We're going to do something a bit more special with them. Okay? Spice them up. Spice them up a little bit. So, yeah. if you can crack on and peel the celery. Okay, no one asked this why. Yeah, we had a lot of people comment on our Jambalaya video about why on earth we're peeling celery. The only reason I'd say, if I show you with this one, you don't really want all of that stringiness in, especially when you're eating it raw, like with cheese. Mm -hmm. But when you're cooking it as well, and because of the way we're frying this off, we want to get rid of that toughness. So when you're cooking for a long time, it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter so much. Okay. And maybe it's just the restaurants I've worked in and the sort of high standard food, we tend to do it. So maybe it's a a habit, but it's definitely a, a habit it's worth it into. Mm -hmm. Shallot as well. You can use an onion oh, if you've got one. Sorry? When's she coming along? Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. We get a pan on, nice and hot. And a little drizzle of oil. We're going to pop our shallot into the pan and just mm -hmm. start frying that off. And then I've got chorizo. Now, I know this is a big favourite of yours, isn't it? I love chorizo. That's uh, like smoked Spanish sausage. Mm. Usually has this kind of papery skin on it, so we get rid of that. It's very trendy. You can have that bit. You it's see a lot of it. Everywhere. Well, you see it a lot. I mean, tapas is very popular, and chorizo is a good sort of starting place for that. So we want some nice chunky pieces. Well, you always do, so. Thank you. Right, now what I need to do is, probably best to take the end bits off, cut it down the centre. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then along, okay? And we can put, add it to our pan with the onions. And the beauty about our chorizo is because it's a cured meat, it's actually quite cheap. So you can pick up a good big chunk of it like that really cheaply. Our sausages are cheap as well, so it's a cheap, quick meal. What's it been cured of? Cured of its rawness. How about that? Nice. Cool. Nice. Stick your celery in there. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we'll stick our sausages into or under a hot grill. Now, you can go for really cheap sausages, but in my eye, if you're going to do this, get some good quality sausages. You're only going to need a couple per person because you've got extra chorizo in the stew as well. Are you making a mess? No, it's fine. <laughs> so these are going to go under a hot grill yep. for about two or three minutes each side and keep turning them each time. So if you can keep an eye on those bears, they're going in there. Yep, keeping an eye. Kind of every few minutes or so. Nice hot pan with that and we can add our chorizo in and that will just start to leak all of its lovely natural oils. I've got also, Baz, some yes. chickpeas. If you can just open those. Yep. You can buy raw chickpeas and soak them overnight and then cook them in sort of water for a couple of hours. But if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, then these in a tin, much, much better, quick and simple, which is absolutely perfect because that's what Shy with Undergarment wanted. Yeah. Okay, give us a quick drain. So we've got our mm -hmm. celery and onion Swiss off down there. The cost the wine. Yeah, oh, I like this bit. A little glug. Cooking wine. Yeah, uh, cheap wine, but white wine, it's plenty. And at this point, you're bubbling off all the alcohol, so there's no worry about the alcohol content oh. being in there. So I know a few of our subscribers have questioned that before. The tomatoes, yep. that's just a tin of tomatoes that goes in there, all of those, and our whole tin of chickpeas. So this really is a, a one-pot wonder, isn't one it? One-pot wonder. It's a lot of tin food going on, so our tin tomatoes, no our tin, just the one pan, and our grilled sausages. If you can just actually give those sausages a quick turn. Yes. Okay. And we'll bring this sauce back to the boil, and other than waiting for those sausages to grill and the sauce to thicken down, that is dinner pretty much ready. Got a much more saucy consistency to our cassoulet. If you grab the sausages, Baz. They are golden. Beautiful. Golden brown. Careful. And meanwhile, a little bit of fresh parsley just to finish the dish off. That goes through very last minute. How about a glass of wine with this, Baz, since you've got some of this yes. stuff left? Yes, please. You get that covered off. Yep. Have the parsley into our stew, quick final stir, we'll safe plate up our cassoulet here, all those flavours in there, but it didn't take any longer to cook than those sausages in the under the grill. So this is about quick, simple, meaty dish. So there it is, lots of meat with a quick and easy sauce for shy with undergarment. It's our chickpea and chorizo cassoulet sorted. Mm. There we go, check out those sausages. I just love my chorizo. It's a texture thing, I love it. it's just the textures mm. in the chickpeas. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Quick and simple.